Cool, so here's where we're at so far. I'm gonna slow it down for you so that we got our intro. There's the fourth time, here's five, six. brings us to our new part here, which is the second half of the verse, uh, the verse part. So coming out of this, then he goes back down to this shape. Now I was using my pinky here because it was already on this string, so. You could probably switch your fingering if you want. Um, uh, but whatever, whatever you need to do to get to this chord. It's just the second fret of the third string, third fret, third fret of the second string. So in context. So we got. That looks like this here. Whoop. Oh, oh, there it is. So that looks like this here. <laughs> okay, so that looks like this. So we got using my third finger and my thumb, and then rolling back, second finger to the second string. And then we got the bass note. Right after that next bass note, we got our first finger and get that third string. And then that's how he finishes that verse section. So we come up here and the shape is first finger, uh, fifth fret, first string, third finger, seventh fret, second string, second finger, seventh fret, third string. And sometimes I throw a little, little dealy do in there. You don't necessarily have to do that. One thing I noticed is I went through and watched. You know, there's there's some great classic performances of him playing the song, and you can see, you can see the way that he sort of modifies it and changes the riff, and kind of just has fun sort of improvising around it. So I think like getting comfortable with these shapes, there's really a lot of cool things you can do, and he sort of takes it takes it there live a lot. I don't know if he just was like, do you play it so many times? Just gotta change it up. So we're over here. So again, with our alternating bass, just like the whole song. Starting again with the thumb and third finger. And we're gonna roll it down. Middle finger, second string roll down to the bass note. with the patterns and the shapes, play with the little dynamics on the melody and the bass notes too. OK, 
Okay, cool. So that's our verse. So then there's two more sections in the song. One, I don't know really what you'd consider to be a chorus or a bridge or what. It's just sort of a kind of a beautiful linear sort of flow that the whole song has. So the two other sections, uh, the, the, the next one starts with this great change, which you're coming out of here. So it's the same shape, move it down a full step. So you got third fret, first string. And uh, fifth fret on the uh, second and third strings. And we're not gonna move anything or lift anything off, we're just gonna play that same pattern. and second finger, not as much first finger and thumb. So the first finger is not doing anything on this, for me at least. And I find it to be a good way to do it on this song because you have a lot of a wide sort of stretch with your right hand, like your thumbs clear over here a lot. And if you start using your first and second finger too much over here, you're going to run out of you're going to want to play that third string in a lot of uh, situations. So get really used to, try to get used to using this third finger and second finger and getting comfortable with them because they're really useful. Then we're going to go. Okay, so this next chord, uh, our bass notes are going to go, and it's a little weird, and I'll show you why. It's because when you come down here, you're going to go, okay, so really quickly in context, we're coming from this chord. The pull-off the pull -off happens when you play this low bass note. So the note that you're pulling off to happens in time with this low thumb. Um, sometimes you can kind of ghost it. So we're going. little bit is first finger and then we're kind of pinched in here a little bit and we got the thumbs gonna play that higher bass note the D Oops. then we're going straight into just a D shape and when he when he goes up and hits this with this tuning basically becomes a sus2 so we got some kind of stuff in between so so the pattern is kind of in here if we were to take that out of context
Okay, so here's that whole part. You could kind of go back to the intro here, because now we're sort of going back into another verse. Okay, so now that takes us to our next part here, which is just two chords. This is the minor section of the song here. And sometimes live, he'll, he'll, he'll hit this note too. Whoops. Okay, so uh, it's really just a pattern in two shapes. So our shape is... First one's right here, second finger, seventh fret, third string. First finger, uh, sixth fret, second string, third finger, seventh fret, first string. So we got this pattern again. So we're going thumb, third finger. Roll it back. Uh, second finger, second string, and then thumb hits the high bass. Whoop. That's pretty much the pattern. So we got to the second half. First, six, second, four. We have this shape, which it's like a A major chord, basically. Um, we have our third finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, second finger, sixth fret, third string, and then first finger right there on the fifth fret. And then open A, and our bass note's going five, uh, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four. So and you can play that open E. Same pattern again as this. Uh, so you got this. Those are the. Those are all the parts to the song. So it really just repeats those uh, in the arrangement. And you have so you have an intro. You have like what would be a verse, and then I don't know if you call that a chorus into like uh, back into a verse, and then you're gonna have this bridge. But uh, when you listen to it, you can't always hear necessarily what the guitar is doing. There's a lot of other acoustic instrumentation going on and stuff like that. But if you cross-reference this a lot with like uh, live recordings, especially like Earl's Core, things like that, you can really see uh, what he's doing and then how he branches out even from these shapes and makes more interesting uh, and, and fun things with this. So. It's that cool thing with fingerstyle guitar that I love that I, I don't, you know, there's a pattern and some shapes and once you get comfortable with that stuff you can really
kind of play around with the song and sort of add things just like he does. Um, but that's uh, that's the gist of it and the feel and uh, you know consider dynamics as you go as you get more comfortable with these uh, patterns and that's pretty much it it's a it's a cool tune and doesn't require a whole lot of uh, uh, you know modifying the changing your tuning or anything like that and uh, yeah so that's it.